Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string Welcome to the Russian and the Freak Show episode number 24 How to maintain your equilibrium and function in a dysfunctional world as a freak family in business and in life Who So you can you transform to? chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. Who are you talking to? Who put this alien guy in my seat? You have you alien tell me boy, something? I have an alien girl. Come here. My leg. Na zdrowie. What is in here? Uh, water. <laughs> smells like x <X-lax. laughs> What's that? Stuff that makes you shit yourself. Obviously, I never use it. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the show. Today, we are going to be discussing a topic of legacy. Don't get me started. Don't yes, me. yes, we are. So, are you the, Are you really living the life to the fullest? Are you really living your best life? Are you trying every day to become a best version of you? Like... Think about this of the current moment right now. If you would go back to a year or two years from now, do you see a change in you? Like, let's put it spiritually and physically uh, in your business. Like, are you seeing the changes that are happening in your life? And if you have kids, like we have two kids, Tyson is 11, Avanka is eight. Are you really being the example for them? So you can leave a legacy like we're going to I have some good topics for you. And by the way, something happened to your screen. (laughs) We are still here, but but it just went blank. We have a couple of different uh, uh, phones set up here. So we are broadcasting in, uh, in different places, different social media. But Steve camera went blank. So I am going to keep on talking. So. That were my questions to you. Uh, if you have kids like we do, we do have our kids. Do you do you really? He's gonna pull on the wires. Do you really setting up an example? This is just chaos. That's how it is always. So that's why we call, call it a chaotic world. Do you really setting up the example for your kids? Because when I go back uh, into my, um, you know, thirty years ago. Well, and I think about all my grandparents. 30 years ago. Damn, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you, mother? How do I talk about that on here? I don't care. I am very open at my age because I don't feel. I just, yesterday I was told that I look like 36. I'm 45. He's in few months. He's himself in here. He wants to he, I think show. he wants Every to be a part of the show. Come here, buddy. Maybe we should have a chair for him. Look, let's do it. He doesn't want to sit up on a chair. He wants to sit at the table during the dinner. Why yeah, wouldn't he want to set up at... Like, yeah. Or here, switch chairs. Switch chairs. Come on, buddy. He's pretty heavy. I wouldn't be Dang, able here. to lift him, but... <clears throat> We're gonna get the boy on the show. Ugh. All right. Are you happy? Can you stay yeah. here with us? Okay. All right. So we have a puppy dog with us. Okay. Come on. All right, so what are we talking about here? What's the, what's the topic here? We got to get it going. Yeah, right, don't not, that much. No, 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 no. This Let isn't, me This talk. isn't necessarily going to be about legacy. Because it's that's oh, like God. too too broad and too like people throw that out there and the, your legacy and all this other stuff. What does that even mean? Like it doesn't... Well, no, you legacy. mean something. Look, no, but people think legacy in terms of building business and leaving millions of dollars. That's one thing. But we're talking about like... The, the values that you live behind, like we have core values and we're trying to teach our kids the best. We're trying to teach them our core values. The DECA, we're so, trying so, to teach so, them. We're trying to so, teach them for them so, yeah. to be in their own yeah. self, to embrace yeah. the superpowers, the gifts they have. And because in today's world, we compare. We're always trying to live somebody else's life. And So then let's not say legacy because legacy... 
I don't even know if you look up what legacy even means. I don't even know what it means. I don't think anyone knows what legacy means. What's the definition of legacy? I don't even think we even know officially what it means. Because legacy, everyone has a legacy. It, so could have, it could be good. It could be bad. It's like people hear legacy, they automatically mean something good. It doesn't mean something good. How about me- meaning of life? Like, What is the purpose? Like, Why do you do what you do, the way you do it, how you do it every freaking day? What is the goal, the purpose, the meaning of life? And how do you even find that and then operate according to that and then live that way? Let's start there. Let's go. What, what do we yeah. got? Yeah. So, uh, well, we, as a freak family, we have a core values. And it's, what is it? Well, this is just a freak family code. But we live along uh, really with the main things in in life, like thinking about discipline, confidence, having energy, uh, being an action taker and becoming your own freak self. So. How can you create, I would say, we talked about core values before, so we don't want to lead into that much, but really finding the essence of life. Feeling, I think, alive, like when you feel like every day is an awesome day. That's what we're trying to... So now we're getting somewhere. Like how, the question you should ask yourself every, every fucking morning, and I write it down every day. How can I make today fucking awesome? At the end of the day, I say, did I get better and grow today? It's as simple as that. And when I answer those two questions and deal with those two questions, to me, that's whatever you want to call legacy or whatever it is, or the meaning of life. Right there is the meaning of fucking life. Living that day right now, not having your little lake house and whatever else and having a certain amount of money in in the bank account or whatever else the hell you want to talk about. Like, what is the real meaning of life? What's the real purpose? And the only way to do that is to backtrack it. So then it goes back to on a surface level. All right, what's the type of lifestyle you want to live? Once you figure out what kind of lifestyle you want to live, how do you want to live your lifestyle? That's not good enough, motherfucker. It has to be, why do you want that type of lifestyle? So what type of lifestyle do you want to live? Why do you want that type of lifestyle? And then from there, what is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that? Like, why do you want that kind of lifestyle? What's the purpose of it? And then that ties into, all right, now we're getting to what's the meaning of fucking life? Like the book, A Man's Search for Meaning, where Victor Frankl, you should read it if you haven't. Instead of whatever dumbass romance novels you're reading... Put that shit down and, and read some actual decent books. Finding what the meaning of life is. What's the meaning of life? Yes. Right? What's your meaning of life? Meaning. See, see, we want to talk about legacy, but I think if you ask most people, they'll come up with a half-baked, bullshit, fucking generic internet picture on Instagram's fucking answer. So, what's the, what's the meaning of life? Well, so, well, you're well, ass on the chair. Being fulfilled, I, th- I think I would say being fulfilled in a lot of different areas with my uh, with myself, with my relationships, with um, with my kids. Because at the end of the day, like when I look in these uh, areas that I like help people, that I was a best version of me. Ow, he just bit me. No, he's just like biting on my nails and out of nowhere he went, huh? Um, did I did I really serve my family? Was I patient? Right? There was so much I think into it, but then also asking um, asking was I was I really the best mom, the best wife, the best friend, or was I was I not? Did I help other people? Because I think fulfillment in life comes comes really with helping people. Like think about it. If you if you don't help at least one person that day, it's not a meaningful day. Like think All right, about who's it. the ultimate? Because I have my own thoughts on this, yeah, my own thoughts on the meaning of life, the purpose of life of each individual, and it's a it's along those lines. But all right, who's the number one person? Who's the number one person you could help in life? Well, myself. No, first. fuck you. That's well, what I say. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. others. But okay. But if so you who? cannot help, who? Well, my closest family. Who? Well, you, you no, and my kids. No. There we go. The kids. I think the whole meaning of life, and if someone doesn't have kids, then they have to find their own way of doing it. Whole meaning of life is to make the world continue on and make it even fucking better. And the number one way to do that, to really, how can you people say, oh, I want to make an impact? What's the real way you can fucking stamp your impact in the existence of the world? Having fucking kids. I think that's the number one thing. If someone doesn't have kids, they have to find a much deeper route to get there, in my in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's going nuts. <laughs> a 
much deeper route to get there. If they don't have kids or can't have kids, doesn't mean you can't don't have any meaning to your life. It means you have to go some roundabout way of doing that, a much different level, a much different route. But the easiest way, the the most the strongest way is to have kids and then to leave that stamp on them. They are you. They are a piece of you. Literally, like you want to leave a legacy, it's behind is having kids and then teaching them how to think for themselves, how to operate, how to become even better every day. Just the way I say, how do I make today fucking awesome? Teach your kids how to make just today awesome. Not a million years from now. That is not the fucking goal. A million years from now is not the goal. And, and digging that into the bones and DNA of your kids, that is, if you want to call it legacy or meaning of life. Fuck me. It's not about me. I'm already, I already lived. Shit. I already lived. I already died. We're done. We're done. What are you talking about? Like you could die today. I could die today. And I already have my existence going on through the kids. That's why, what can I do today to make it fucking awesome? Not thinking about the kids in college. Fuck that. It's too late. I might be dead by then. You need to already have it done. Like digging that into that every single day about how can I make today awesome? How can I make The kids even better, obviously making myself even better. So did I get better and grow? The way I'm going to grow is by making the kids grow because they are you. They are literally you. Like literally, literally, literally. People say literally all the time. They are literally, literally fucking you. Yeah, I'm not sure if he likes to be on the show. You, he's been biting me. (laughs) He's not biting me. He just keeps licking my bicep for some reason. Yeah, but he's chewing on my fingers. And keep on, did you, do you guys see that paw just going and like my hand in between this big jaws? All right. So yes. And, and what, what happens is a lot of people think so far in advance and I'm not saying not have a vision, of course, but I came across recently a person that saves everything for their, for their life and for their future and don't think and don't live in the present moment. And you find yourself like even my grandparents, they didn't see they they did they did a lot of things for us, for grandchildren, for their children, but they didn't, I think, live their life to the fullest. So it's a it's a good question to ask, like really embrace it now, live your life now at this moment. And what wow. can you do today to make it better? Yeah, he went a little bit crazy maybe he likes the show but he just likes to be entertained maybe he wants to be the head of the show so guys uh, we would like to know actually what you guys think what is really the vision of life that you have how would you what is the lifestyle that you wanted to have and most of all when when steve mentioned a purpose yes you need to have a purpose you need to have some mission you need to be congruent with your vision we all know these words but how are you gonna get there because people have an idea and then they don't know the steps to get there so then reverse engineer that like so once you figure out whatever your meaning to life is and i think overall on the planet the only way the planet goes on is if People have fucking kids. That's the only way it goes on. It it ends without that. And there's a bunch of cockroaches. So if that's what the meaning of life is, let's just say, let's just say we all agree that's what the meaning of life is because that's what this show is and this is what the show we're doing. That's what we're fucking saying it is. So that's what it is. Then you need to reverse engineer that. All right, you have kids. All right, what's the lifestyle I want to live? Why is that the type of lifestyle I want to live? Then how am I going to do on each day? How am I going to live that fucking lifestyle? Not a, a fucking years from now or... 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. Now, like reverse engineer all of that from if my legacy or meaning of life is kids, what do I need to do today that if I fucking drop dead tomorrow, that that goes on, that continues on and this universe continues on with fucking awesome humans and making awesome humans, making it a force multiplier, making your kids fucking awesome. That's why I said, fuck you, fuck me. It ain't about me. We're done. We are done in when it comes to that because it's all about them. Like, who cares what happens to me? It doesn't fucking matter. It's about pouring into them because they are the next generation. They're the ones that are going to keep this ball rolling of this freak freedom rolling on this planet. So that's how, how you, you break it down. How do you actually do it? You make today fucking awesome. But you, you, you don't what, stress. Like, what else? Fuck yesterday. You don't worry about yesterday. Fuck tomorrow. 
you make today fucking awesome and do everything in your power to make today awesome. So when we talk about decaps, you talked about our decaf. Discipline. How can I be a five out of five on discipline today? How can I be a five out of five on energy? How can I be a five out of five on confidence, on action taking? How can I be a five on five on being my freak motherfucking self? If I could do those five things, that's kind of our foundation of part of the free code. If I could do those five things every day, a five out of five, I've done my, I fucking won. I already hit the goal today. I hit the top of the hill. I hit the top of the fucking mountain. People think they want to get to the top of the mountain. Fuck the top of the mountain. Top of the mountain doesn't exist. Top of the mountain is death. Top of the mountain already happened. You need to hit your goals and hit your achievements every fucking day. Forget goals 10 years from now. Fuck that. Fuck your goals. So I said, fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck everyone else. Fuck the past. Fuck the future. Fuck your goals. All fucking in on today. That's how you create legacy or the meaning of life and make sure that this show goes on long after you. Because you don't know. You think, all right, I'm going to create a legacy by doing this and this and this. And in three years, I'm going to do this in five years, and that's going to be my legacy. Motherfucker, you might not make it three or five years. <laughs> this fucking, that could just, there could be an earthquake right now, and this fucking place collapse on me. You need to do that legacy thing every motherfucking day in every move you make, every fucking action you take, everything you do. That's why we say bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. That's every motherfucking day. No excuses. That's how yes. you stamp it into your kids. Stamp it into them. Make it part of their operating system so they create... That, that momentum, that rolling ball of fucking awesomeness going forward. And if they could do that and spread it out and teach other people to do that and eventually have kids of their own, that's a force multiplier. That's how you have fucking impact. So what we do on a daily basis, obviously there is a workout, right? They see us... Make babies. Doing... Make lots of fucking babies. Are you planning to have more? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, discipline, right? They see us, what we're doing in the morning. They, we're teaching them the discipline and the uh, everyday thing. Every day, uh, uh, what are we doing? The workouts. We're eating healthy, right? We're discussing things at our dinner table. We're playing games. We're trying to um, live the, the, the best life today. That's what it's all about. And we had a discussion about steroids and testosterone and performance enhancers and all this other stuff and part of it was all right so lots of people use need need a testosterone replacement whatever many people don't need it so here's what the conversation was that we were having just off camera here before and we've had with the kids already was all right let's say i'm gonna go and decide to start taking steroids because i'm getting older or whatever again don't forget fuck me it doesn't matter about me i already lived i already fucking died it's all about them but let's say i wanted to do that now i go work out with the kids and i'm just this fucking machine that's fueled by a needle in my fucking ass and now my now tyson can't keep up and i'm gonna say what's wrong you tyson come on we're gonna run fucking million more miles we're gonna lift this car and fucking throw it over the over the house all this stupid shit Make him feel inadequate that he can't keep up because I'm putting a needle in my ass, but I'm not telling him because I don't want him to think that you need to, to have these performance enhancers or whatever else. Now let's say I make the, the decision. All right, 35. Make the decision to make the decision to tell him that I'm doing it. I'm gonna start taking these testosterone and whatever else. And I tell him. Now he's gonna see me be in this beast mode and all this other stuff, knowing in his head or thinking in his head, all right, that's what it takes. To be a man, that's what it takes to be fucking beast mode. I'm gonna have to take some drugs, and then he's gonna want to take it sooner rather than later. Next thing you know, 20 years old, they're doing all kinds of weird shit. Or imagine the third scenario: take fucking nothing, take care of my fucking self. If I'm feeling off, if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling slow, how about I go a year straight with getting enough sleep, ha handling my emotions and anger management, and meditating, and eating healthy, and training my ass off every fucking day. How about doing all that plus more, journaling and everything else, working hard, being ethical in your business practices, and shit like that. How about that? Try that for a fucking year straight, every fucking day, 365 days, and if you're still feeling down, which you're not gonna, guarantee no matter what fucking age, no matter what levels you're at, unless you have some serious medical issues, those are the .00001% that actually need shit like that, you're not going to feel it. So after a year, if you do that, try a year. Or maybe try a fucking decade and then go and say, okay, now I need some medical assistance. Not because I'm feeling down. You're feeling down because you're eating fucking shit. You're not being a good role model to your kids. You're doing unethical shit in your life probably, in your business, and you're being slimy and whatever else. You're not fucking training hard enough. 
You're being lazy. You're training two to three times a week. Two to three times a week, motherfucker? How about six to seven? How about seven to seven days a week? How about, motherfucking, <laughs> how about seven to seven days a week? How about every motherfucking day? How about eating healthy every motherfucking day? Not having any cheat days. Not having any days off. Not having any half-assed days. How about that? How about focusing and getting up early and going to sleep early every fucking day? Not staying up late. Not doing stupid shit. Not stressing. And lowering your stress levels. How about that as your performance enhancer? Try that first. So imagine I could show him that I could go beast mode just by taking care of myself and my own wellness and health. That's the legacy I'm talking about. Every motherfucking day, him seeing that and watching that and becoming that and realizing what it takes to be a motherfucking man. All right. And with this, we're going to end the show because it's not the time for me to catch and pick up the kids. It's the 35. No, I got to go because I was late yesterday. So. Five minutes. We gotta end this. If you wanna continue, you're gonna stay on the show by yourself. <laughs> All you did said legacy, and then I babbled for 10 minutes, and that's the end of the show. That's how we do it today. So, guys, send us comments, messages. Uh, I wanna hear what your meaning of life is, and I wanna hear your thoughts on anything yes. that we talk about. Your yes. legacy. What is what does legacy even mean to you? What is your meaning of life? What is your purpose of being here? What is the lifestyle you wanna live, and why? You can't say what you want. Oh, I want the lake house, or I want a million dollars in the bank. Motherfucker, why? You don't even know why. Like, if you don't have a deep, dark, rooted, down to the bones and DNA reason why, you're wasting your motherfucking time. Thank you guys for watching episode number 24. Tag someone in this post in this video send us comments and let us know what else we can help you with and if you need assistance in the operate to dominate please let us know send us a message operate to dominate in your mind body and business is that the end mm-hmm you're done with your infomercial done it's always time for a motherfucking infomercial Woo-hoo! <laughs> But if I lay it down and I play it dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, stay me right there. But if I lay it down and I play it dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a taunt, never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string.